Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to be trying something new because when you try something new, your brain, it's like its like feeding your brain salmon and, and fish oil pills. And I don't know the last time that I've done anything good for my brain. I've not learned a new program since college. I remember being so proud learning the entire Adobe Suite and Maya. I was like, man, I am on top of the world. I can learn anything. These shortcuts are nothing to me. And then I grew up and then I forgot everything immediately. So right now my knowledge is Photoshop and Procreate. So Clip Studio Paint invited me to try out their program and sponsor this video. I was like, it is time for my brain to expand, to become a sponge once again. So let's find out if I am a good artist in comfort or if I am a good artist in in when I am challenged to not be comfortable. <laughs> Today words don't make sense to me. So this is how it's gonna work. I'm gonna set a timer for 10 minutes to explore the interface, to understand what this program is, to get comfortable with the shortcuts. Then I will set a one hour timer and that's how long I will have to complete an entire drawing from start to finish. One hour isn't too crazy when I'm working with programs that I'm really comfortable with. I'm excited to see if I'll, if I'll get anything anywhere near polished. So without further ado, let's try a new drawing program. So the timer is set for 10 minutes. If this is truly the first time I, I opened the program, let's start it. So obviously we have our colors here. Okay, there's pencil. Oh, okay, I do not like that pencil. Okay, undo is the same as Photoshop. This pencil is pretty cool. I wonder, I wonder where the other pencils or where the other brushes are. Erase is E, you know, just the way I, I like it. So when I click the shortcut for, you know, the brush, it actually goes through all of the, the brushes, which is something else. Damn it, I, I don't like flicking through this and I don't know how to change it quite yet. Where, where's the zoom? Why is there a timeline? Can you animate on this? Yes, you can and I do not care about that right now. Okay, we have opacity. That's cool. Texture density. Oh, like on the brush? Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Baby's first drawing. That's me. I'm baby. I don't know how to zoom, so I don't like that I can't scrubby zoom. I don't know if I'm just dumb or if you actually can do that, but I, I certainly can't. Man, I'm losing so much time. Okay, so colors. Um, okay, so I know how to do, uh, it keeps giving me stars. Okay, transform is the same. Hand tool is not the same. Uh, tools? Oh, zoom. Okay, so I can change zoom. Nice. Okay, there's scrubby zoom. Don't worry. Operation, what does that mean? I like that liquefies a button down here. That's pretty convenient. Okay, with a minute left, I, I feel like I learned nothing and and I'm, 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 uh, I'm a little stressed out, not gonna lie. There we go. Okay, I found the lasso tool. Deselect crop, is deselect the same? Yeah. Okay, so most of like, oh, the shortcuts are almost the same. Like they're kind of similar, although obviously I'm having a troubling time. Okay, I want this here and then I do not want, I'm gonna like hide, damn it, okay. Okay, okay, and one, I, oh, okay, that's it, you're right, you're right. I'm gonna go in blind. <laughs> okay, so now our new timer is set, and yes, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I'm truly just gonna raw dog this drawing and see what we can come up with on the spot, and I just want to let you know, I make the worst drawings when I'm on the spot, so that's fun for both of us. And so we begin. Okay, <laughs> there's no pen pressure, and I don't know how to change that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this instead. It's not, it's not as fun as the chalk, but I can't figure out how to get the pen pressure and I don't have enough time. Okay, now we're gonna start. I'm gonna start with a face. Whenever I am lost, I always start with the face because that's the easiest thing. Where's the lasso? Where did I put it? What's the shortcut? M? Does it look like I have time to change these shortcuts to what I'm comfortable with? Why is it selecting the whole thing? No, it's light table. I don't need light table. <laughs> I've like wasted so much time just doing that thing. So let's you know, put her hand on top of her, her head. How do I move, do I move the selection? Okay, I'm starting over. <laughs> This is a shape that I do all the time, but we don't have time for innovation. We only have time for survival. Okay, so this is kind of the, the basic shapes that I have. And then let's throw the liquify tool around to really play with this. So I don't know how these tools really work. I feel like I'm not gonna be using it because I feel like this would have been way more efficient if I used the lasso tool and then just filled it in. Okay, here's something that Photoshop can't do. This is really cool. You could select multiple layers and transform them together. Okay, and then I will change the background color. Maybe it's something like that. I'm trying to find out how to lock a layer. Ah, that's a draft layer. There we go. What should the accent color be? Orange is kind of fun, cool contrast, but so is green. Green's a little watermelony, but I'm here for the fun of it. Why not? Okay, so here's the thing. I don't think I could rely on anything but myself here. Usually I have fun with gradients and stuff like that, but I just like, I don't have it. I don't have the time and I don't know how to do it. So I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna go in. We're gonna start in with the face. 
this. I know Clips Studio Paint has like some good blending features. I just don't like having to, to click these brushes every time I want to use them. I just don't know any alternative right now. If this drawing doesn't look good, then I have to, I have to pull out all the stops to try to make it appealing. Because usually I rely heavily on like textures and here because I don't, I don't know how to do that yet, like I can't. So I'm gonna just drop in some shapes to get it started. Literally the worst and most complicated way to, to make a texture. I am doing it. Does the job, no? So the main thing I'm lacking right now is texture and I'm gonna add it at the end, I decided. I think that if I just work with this like sleek brush for now and then add all the texture at the end, then I think that'll save time. I think it'll be more efficient that way. I hate these stars. So the trick is when you're when you're short on time and you need a sketch to look polished, what I do is just clean up the edges. If you got clean edges, everything else will like truly look way better. Subscribe. Okay, so it's starting to come together once I just started focusing on the bigger picture rather than like smaller details. You know, I could have imported brushes. <gasps> Don't freak out, I paused it because I think you can import Photoshop brushes and I'd like to do that. Continuing the timer. Now we can get started. Now we can see what is up. How do I get it to stop rotating? I really hate that. I, I have to like, I have to stop this. That's like the only thing that's like ending it for me. Okay, I've removed the rest. I really hope. Okay, now it works. I could have done that a long time ago. Life is so easy now. Why didn't I start with that? Well, you know what they say, head empty. These actually aren't my brushes that I usually use, but I imported the first I could find because I'm a little bit in a rush. I'm just trying to think of a cool shape to have all this hair. I'm trying to make it like locks. Okay, now I'm gonna restart this eye because now I have a little bit more understanding what I'm doing, I think it could look a little bit better. You know, now that I have some brushes that I'm comfortable with, like life is easy right now. I'm gonna merge everything because I hate the way this looks. Okay, so we're actually doing pretty well for time. I'm gonna go in and see how I can make this better now. <laughs> I actually really like the way the brush feels. That's, like, that's nice. Well, like now that I've downloaded my own brushes, like I was having a lot of trouble with the default ones, but when are default brushes ever good? Okay, what should her boxers say? You know what I think is a really funny boxer? Joe Boxer. So we're gonna write Joe Boxer. A little bit of plaid on that. Okay, so I have 10 minutes left and I really want to like add more fun. And usually I do that by adding some like exciting effects and stuff, but I don't know how to do that on this program yet. No, I don't like those hoops. Okay, having a few in the hair is kind of cool. I don't have time for anything else. Okay, let's liquefy the whole thing again. I don't even know if I like these shapes anymore. Uh, how do I turn it in black and white? So I have, I, I clearly have some issues with like this area. So let's just like throw in a color dodge to lighten it up so it stands out against this hair because I feel like it's a little muddy. How do I select every layer? Refer to all layers. Nice, nice. A little easier because I like it when, you know, maybe this is dark. Maybe there's some rim lighting. Maybe that's what makes it exciting. Okay, I only have five minutes to do this. Okay, so I do wish I had a little bit more time. I'm a little bit overwhelmed right now. I'm wondering if I should do the opposite of this and have it darker coming from the top, but there's no time. You know what, we take what we can get. Don't get upset. I don't like that it doesn't preview the effects down here. I don't like that one bit. How do I add noise or something? Oh, you know what I could finally use? <laughs> I'm using these sparkles, default sparkles. How can I fix this in two minutes? You have no idea. I feel like I, it's too, okay, it's too dark on her face it gets lost. Let's start with that. And let's just um, overlay. Okay, I'm kind of, I think I need to liquefy a little bit more to save what I can. I feel like you can't see anything. I can't see anything of what these shapes actually look like. I think the lips are a little bit too light. I'm gonna darken that. I can't believe I'm spending my last seconds trying to fix these lips. Oh boy, I've never been in such Panic. Maybe I can make this stand out a little bit more. I feel like this gets lost. I feel like everything gets lost and I just, and this is just a little bit of poor planning and and that's all that is. A, a, li a last liquefy for the road. Five seconds. Okay, jeez, okay. I tried so hard. I think what we learned here is that I'm not good under pressure. Honestly, for no planning in a short amount of time, trying a new program, it's okay. I wish that I knew how to look at the values 
in black and white, like easily flick through. I didn't, I didn't take the time to set up to learn that. Okay, what do I like and what do I dislike? I like that eventually I learned how to use the program a little bit better than I did before. <laughs> I like that you could transform multiple layers and like cut it from another. I think that's cool. I haven't seen that before. I like having the liquify tool right here. I think it's, that's super convenient. I didn't like how you, how it rotated through the brushes. You know, eventually I, I fixed that, but you know. But here's, here's my main qualm with Clip Studio Paint. This is crisp. We have some crisp parts right here, but the part that I liquefied the, the heck out of, it's kind of blurry. But I, I kind of wonder if that would have been the same anywhere because I feel like I destroyed it to bits with the liquify tool. I also didn't like not having the search panel. I, I like being able to type in zoom and then get zoom if I if I don't know where it is. So that's, that's something. And it was definitely difficult to adjust to new shortcuts. But I do love that I can import my Photoshop brushes. That literally, that was a game changer. Halfway through when I discovered that, that changed everything. And it was a lot more enjoyable of a process. Also, can I say that a dislike is just learning something new. It's hard to learn something new. <laughs> I think for the challenge that I did, I think it's successful enough. Let me know what you think about this drawing if I if I did the challenge successfully. And did you know there's Clip Studio Paint for iPad? The heck? Procreate's not the only one on the iPad now. So thanks for taking the time to watch me expand my brain. I feel like I'm smarter than I was before. I feel like I can I can do more than I did before. And most importantly, I don't have to learn anything new for another decade. So like this video, comment on this video. If you want to learn something new, then you have to subscribe to this channel. I don't make the rules. And thanks again for Clip Studio Paint for sponsoring this video and sending me your program. And thanks to you for giving this a watch. I appreciate it, I appreciate you. Okay, I'll see you next time, bye.